I was… Uh, three days ago, I was in Dubai. And then I came to Bangalore. The temperatures in Dubai were clearly five to six degrees lower than Bangalore. I inquired, what happened to Dubai? Why the hell is it not burning? They said, uh, last few years they've been doing lot of cloud seeding. Because of this, there's a cloud cover and the little breeze from the ocean, the place feels very cool and nice. The Karnataka government did some cloud seeding a few years ago. I don't remember exactly which year, but they did. Then they gave up because it rained in Andhra Pradesh. <laughs> what to do with the damn clouds? They don't stick to state borders. Instead of doing the right things, right things means the way it works. There are a whole lot of people who are geared to do fanciful things because it's the fancy of their imagination or culture or religion or whatever. So if you want to set up a distribution system, of course the transportation is best that it goes in a straight line unless there is Himalayas in the way because the shortest distance between two points is always a straight line. Hmm? From here to there, if you want to go, you don't have to go like this. That's okay for the snake <laughs> because he has other purpose on the way. Transportation must be as far as possible straight lines because it shortens the distance lowers the costs and lowers the time consumed, quickens everything. So you draw a triangle and you go like this and go like this. You want to go to Bangalore, you go to Chennai and go to Bangalore, you'll have a triangle, reasonably perfect triangle. <laughs> but that's not called a distribution system. If someday if somebody gives me the money to build a whole new city, I've been waiting. <laughs> if someone gives me money to build a whole new city, I would make that city into a powerful yantra. It can be done. But now in the existing reality, you want to set up a supply chain. You don't go about building a yantra. Not in that pattern. There are a few things we can do, but no. We have to work with the existing realities. So, whatever research you're jo doing, distribution systems, there are many other ways to look at it. You can say yantra because yantra always starts from a central point and geometrical expansion well, it may make sense, but it also depends on already the existing centers where things are needed, isn't it? You draw a yantra road map on India and instead of delivering goods in Chennai, you deliver it in Bay of Bengal. What's the point? Because the yantra triangle goes there. Instead of Chennai, you deliver it near Andaman, what is the point? Your life's effort, <coughs> if you're a researcher or you're anybody, your life's effort is to be how to make complicated things simple. Not simple things complicated. A lot of spiritual teaching has become like this, simplest things they complicate and it becomes spiritual. 
if you are, you know, if you flew kites, did you? No, you were researching. <laughs> what is this? <laughs> you didn't fly a kite. You don't know what you missed, go and fly in this. June, July, instead of doing some research, take a break and fly a kite. <laughs> Chinese manja is available now in the market <laughs> If you fly a kite, you know these days they got all rollers and those roller people will never fly a kite well. Uh, we all have it around the bamboo. It's a certain thing to keep the thread like that. Otherwise, little mess you do, it'll get all knotted up. It's just a single string, but it gets all knotted up. And the more you rush around, you can never untangle it, it'll become a big mess. Simple straight thread, it becomes such a complex net. As it is with life, simple straight line, line from womb to tomb, straight line. Is there any complication in this? <laughs> if you were going to one place, I was going to another place, crisscrossing routes, there was some complication. Just womb to tomb, straight line. See how people are tangling it up <laughs> in a million different ways. <laughs> so, uh, don't tangle up the supply system of this country, okay? We already have meandering roads. This is because in ancient times they did not make roads, bullock cart highways. You know, India had bullock cart highways few thousand years ago. The Grand Trunk Road, some of them even today are national highways, what used to be bullock cart roads at one time. The Northern Trunk Road, which goes somewhere from Delhi up to Calcutta, even today is highway number one. So when bullock carts went, it's animals which have to drag. Even a small mound, they went this way because it was easier for the animal. There was no 600 bhp engine, there were just two oxen. So even a little hill, they went this way, a little mound, they went that way. They didn't want it to go down slope because it's hard on the animal, no brakes, you know. Animal is the brick. So they went that way, that way, that way. And towns got built up along this road. So when we made new roads, we didn't have the heart to leave out the towns and make a new road. So we went along with that. And all our roads became like this, like that, like that, like that. Because everywhere there are towns and towns, supply chain, you know. Bullock cart was the supply chain. So now when we made our national highways, we tried to make it little straighter, but still one town here, one town there, one town, so we made like this, like this, like this, like this. We could make from Delhi to Kanyakumari one arrow. Only thing is, only those who are going to Kanyakumari can go. On the way, nobody else can use the road because it is not touching any of the major cities. So it may look little, not so sensible to go this way, this way, this way, but here there is Ahmedabad, here there is Mumbai, here there is Bangalore, here there is something else. You got to touch all of them, otherwise there is no supply chain. So, supply chain is just an arrangement to see how efficiently things get to people. You don't have to think up anything. If you observe your body, look at the supply chain to every… even your fingernails are still growing or are they, I know you lost your hair but your finger… <laughs> it's a clear sign, blood is not reaching. <laughs> there is a supply chain inside. To every fingernail it's going, isn't it so? What every part of the body needs, is it going or no? Just observe your body, you have the best supply chain diagram.